The first C-295MW aircraft being built for the Indian Air Force has conducted its first flight from the Airbus Defence Production Facility in the city of Seville in southern Spain. The first aircraft will be delivered to the Indian Air Force in flyaway condition in September this year, and the remaining 15 aircraft will be delivered by August 2025, while the 40 remaining made in India aircraft will start delivery from September 2026 onwards. A MiG-21 aircraft of the Indian Air Force crashed in Rajasthan during a routine training sortie today. The pilot ejected safely and sustained minor injuries, but three civilian lives were lost in the crash. Officials have said that an inquiry has been constituted to ascertain the cause of the incident. The DRDO has initiated the fabrication process for the ERSM, also known as Extended Range Surface-to-Air Missile, and according to tender documents, the ERSAM missile is expected to undergo testing later this year. The ERSAM will have a range of 150 km for fighter jet size targets, and the XRSAM will have a range of 350 km, and both interceptors will be part of the IRAD system, also known as Extended Range Air Defense System, which will be in the class of S-400 system. The Indian Air Force has received the first batch of ALS-50 loitering munition from Tato Advanced Systems Limited that are capable of operating from all kinds of terrain and high-altitude areas, and can take down targets at a range of over 50 kilometers. The ALS-50 autonomous system is designed for vertical takeoff and landing, and it can be scaled up to increase firepower as well as targeting distance. Alpha Defense has reported that the RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has started the process of testing the submarine-launched variant of Varun Astra heavyweight torpedo in a simulated environment using a swim-out tube, before firing it from a submarine of the Indian Navy. The Varun Astra has over 95% indigenous content, and can achieve a speed of 74 km per hour and has a range of 40 km and has a maximum operating depth of 600 meters. The Indian Army is working on creating a battlefield surveillance system under Project Sanjay, to create multiple surveillance centers for the field formations and enable the integration of a large number of sensors, that will provide a composite operational picture to commanders at all levels for swifter decision-making. Bharat Electronics Limited is the project's system integrator, and the delivery of these surveillance centers will be completed by December 2025. With a shortage of flight refueling aircraft, the Indian Air Force has adopted an alternative method to impart air-to-air -air refueling skills to its pilots, that includes body-to-body -body aerial refueling method. The Air Force has also been unable to acquire the additional six next-generation air-to-air refueling tanker aircraft, despite the total requirement being at 18 aircraft for the past two decades. After months of deadlock over the supply of spare parts for Russian origin defense platforms, a recent meeting between Indian and Russian officials could be the key to breaking the logjam. The Indian Defence Ministry has urged Russian manufacturers to participate in the Make in India initiative by opening offices in India, either through local joint partnerships or by appointing local Indian companies to manufacture their spares in the country.